right, here we are. Taking apart the one. LS3 day one. I've gotten the AC condenser free. It's in there somewhere. There it is. Radiator is out. Radiator fan is out. Uh, throttle body intake, all that. We're taking off the coil packs right now. And once that's out, then we'll start getting to all this water pump and um, all the fun stuff that's down there. <laughs> Drawing a blank right now. So we'll keep you updated. All right, so here's the next update. We got the intake manifold off. Um, as you can see, this is pretty dirty. 140,000 miles, I guess that's what I should expect. We're gonna get this cleaned up as much as I can. And then we'll start uh, dissecting the rest. There you go. So here we are. Got the uh, timing cover off, balancers off, uh, water pumps off. About to do the oil pump down there. Getting further. Still have a lot to do. Uh, hopefully get this timing chain off, tensioner, all that good stuff, and then start putting it back together. All right, this is where we end for the night. Timing cover is off. Um, I, mean, I took out the screws for the uh, the cam cover, but I didn't take the cover off. It's still on there. Um, I'm gonna get ready to do the take off the valves, valve covers, and do the rocker springs, push rods. But that's a whole job in itself. So this is where I retire for the night. Here we are, day two. Just took apart the valve covers, getting the rockers, push rods, springs off. I got part of it there. Um, and we'll get to the oil pump as well. While I'm working up top there, there's, um, <laughs> there's a foot underneath my car. You can see. <laughs> there you go, there's Caesar. Ruben's in the back somewhere. Oh, there you go, see his head. <laughs> They're fixing the exhaust lineup. So that's where we're at. Just started the day. We'll uh, see where we finish. All right, so we've got the condenser. What is that? No. I have the AC thing out of the way. We got the lifters lifted up, and then we pulled out the stock camshaft. So there it is. And then we're going to put in the new one along with all the new valve springs and rockers and push rods and stuff like that so caesar's gearing up yeah. all right there we go it's a little late on the recording but we're pushing in the new camshaft in yay okay. all right all right so we got the new timing chain this is the uh what is it the katek c5 i think it's called <laughs> Well, that's what it is. So we're gonna install this. We have the new timing gear installed. So, oh, actually, and pause that. Mm -hmm. All right, so here we go. The new timing chain, new three bolt timing gear, and the sucker on here. Let's see how we're gonna do this. I'll put it on this guy. This is going to be a tight fit. Oh, there, no, there we go. And I just need to make sure this lines up right. It's off a little bit. There we go. All right, I think we're in. You got that bolt? It's right there. Right. So we're going to put this in to. Hold the gear in place and keep the camshaft from going all the way to the back. All right, day three. Finally getting all the the rings, uh, the rings, the springs <laughs> installed. And it's uh, this guy. It's doing most of the work. <laughs> so if you need a valve job. I know a guy. Go, go see Ruben. Yeah. Uh, 
but they're coming along. We got two more cylinders to do, working on cylinder two and three, and then we'll be done. And we'll get the rockers, push rods back in, torque down. All right, here we are putting the rockers on. So the springs are on, valve seats are on, uh, new push rods, everything's lubed up. And we're torquing down the rockers to 22 pounds using top dead center on the camshaft. So that's where we're at, getting ready to close up the valve, the valve job. Come by, bro. <laughs> He's wearing Valvoline. Oh, yeah. All right, another update. We got the water pump installed. AC belt is back on. That was fun. And we've got the new Holly covers. These things are sick. So that's probably where we're going to leave it for tonight. And then we'll get back at it tomorrow. We are back day day four, I think. Um, supercharger. We just took off the top of the new um, Heartbeat supercharger. So we're getting ready to mount this to the intake of that beautiful engine right there. Oh, this guy's eating his chorizo burrito. His burrito time. Well, his chorizo time, really. <laughs> uh, so we're taking stuff off from the old intake manifold and put some of it onto here as instructed. But uh, we're going to get this guy put together, get it onto this guy, and um, can't wait. All right, we got this heavy ass beast put in on the intake, on the top of the intake manifold, supercharger onto the heads. Just gotta bolt it down, and then we're gonna put the top to the fuel. Lots to do. All right, another update. We finally got the supercharger in, bolted down, torqued, along with the fuel rail. Um, the harness for the uh, injectors are all plugged in. So next will be the, I don't know what's next, <laughs> but it's coming up. <laughs> We're not putting the coil packs on because we are going to relocate them to the frame down there and down there. But that will be later. So there we go. All right, guys, here we are. Latest update. So uh, last time the supercharger was bolted in. Now we've got the uh, intercooler, supercharger intercooler, the reservoir. I don't know, the supercharger radiator, one of those two. Um, modified plastics. You can see I have the ZL1 plastic. Uh, I have the ZL1 bumper, but I had to modify that as well and the temperature thing. Did some fun stuff there. So everything's bolted up. Gonna put the crash bar back up and see what else I can get done today. All right, here we are. I lost count what days, <laughs> day six maybe, day five. Uh, we did the the spark plugs and had to custom cut the spark wires and we did a relocation kit here so the spark or the coils are now down on the frame There's, that's driver's side and then that's passenger side so they're no longer on the valve covers freed that up and now we're putting back the intercooler for supercharger and then we're going to put on the mighty mouse oil catch can and after that will be fluids and upload the new tune, start it up. So there you have it. Oh. Right, here we go. 1.21 1. 1. gigawatt. <laughs> time right now is five something. <laughs> We're about to turn over the engine for the first time. If my calculation's correct, this shit shouldn't blow up. I'm Fuck. so excited. <laughs>
so what started out is putting the bumper back on the car is that uh, I have a Z01 bumper. So it's not the original 2011 2SS bumper. And I'm guessing that the heartbeat kit is thinking that I have that. So that's how they designed it. And the intercooler pump for the heartbeat is right there. Getting in the way of the other side air duct for the yellow bumper, which is this guy. So this used to be here, but fully covered like that one. So as you can see, I've completely cut it open in order to make it fit. So no longer bolts. There's a bolt that's supposed to go right there, or a screw. So that won't happen. So what's gonna happen is the support will be by this tab and by these on the, the fender liner. So we'll see how it works for a while. As of now, there's plenty of clearance. I also have to cut out those because of the, this guy right here, he sticks out. Once again, it's probably designed for the factory 2011 bumper and not the ZL1. So I had to cut out two of those guys. Now it fits. All right, there you have it. All right, there it is. After some modifications to the brake duct on the ZL1 bumper, and the grill so you can see the inner cooler hose coming out passenger side there right below the uh, tow hook um, but it works and i got to keep the brake ducts so if you can see here it's still right there still visible still it's still uh usable um just had to hack away a little bit got it to fit so there it is it's complete, cars put back together. Dino, June 4th, 2021, get this car purring.